Hi there. So in this video, we're going to finish lesson 1.3, text and scrolling views. Let's go over to Android Studio and where we left off, we have run the app and we have text. We have three text views. We have an article title, article subtitle, and then the article text. But notice that I can't scroll anything. And we, we could probably clean this up a little bit, um, make it look a little cleaner. So let's go back to Android Studio. And if you don't have the strings file open, um, it's in the values folder and strings. Let's go here and let's add, let's give ourselves a couple more new lines. And let's see if we do a couple more this way. We'll have some spaces between our paragraphs. Oops. Very good. Okay. Let's even bold. Let's put some bold around this text. Uh oh, come on. We don't want that. Let's close it here. So put the closing tag there. Okay. So let's save this. Let's go to our activity main.xml file. And uh, in our view, our preview window, we can see kind of how it behaves. So that looks a little better. It looks a little cleaner. Um, let's, in order for this um, URL link to act like a web link, we need to add a property to our text view. And uh, if we go to this article text view, the property is called auto link. So I typed it now I press tab and it's web. So now it's going to behave wherever it sees a URL link like this and it'll treat it differently. Okay. Now in order for this, um, text view to be scrollable, we have to add this text view into what is called a scroll view. So if I come up here and I start typing and I say the less than and I say scroll view, then we're presented with this information here. We want to um, wrap content for both and wrap content for the that. Now let's cut, grab this and we're going to cut that and we're going to place it. I lost my cutting. So we're going to complete that and just type scroll. Whoops. <laughs> you guys are all going, Brent, what are you doing? And I'm going, I don't know. So you'll notice um, what's happening is it's, we've put the article uh, text view inside the scroll view, but you'll see over here that it's uh, clashing with this. So we need to add a property to the scroll view to, and remember, you'll probably guess it's called layout below. And we want it to be below the article subheading is the title of that text view. And there we go. All right. Um, let's clean this up a little bit. Notice our indenting is a little off because we have, we have the text view inside the scroll view. We want to clean that up. If you go to code, and reformat code, or there's the keyboard shortcut. Then now it cleans it up nicely. Okay, let's run this and see how it looks. I'm just going to connect to my emulator. And now we have notice the link is there. And hey, check this out. I have a scrolling text. Notice here on the right, we get the little scroll indicator. Awesome. Look at that. So we've now used a scroll view. Very good. Let's go back here and let's stop that. So one thing to note, the scroll view can only uh, hold one container at this next level. So for example, if I were to co uh, copy, you know, if I cut this and then I pasted it here. And if I tried to run this 
and I, you know, I, if I, what's going to happen is, um, let's see, let's just see if I can get this to work and I'll show you what happens. If I try to run this, notice what happens is the app is crashing. And the reason it's crashing is because scroll view only allows you to have one uh, child element. To get around this, to, to support multiple views within a scroll view, you have to include these uh, objects in another container. And the container that we want to do is called a linear layout. So go ahead and within the scroll view, we're going to type linear layout. And notice this linear layout is going to give us a linear layout compat, which is great. And uh, we want to add the following to make this work. We're going to say match parent on the width and then uh, wrap content on the height. Now I want to cut this tab, sorry, this tag and place it below here. And let's go ahead and reformat the code so that it cleans it up a little bit. Okay. So let's review what's happening. A scroll view can only have one child element. So in order to show multiple objects within that, you would use another container that would hold multiple. So here we have this one child in the scroll view, but in within the linear layout, I can have multiple text views. So in this instance, I have these two text views. And the next thing we need to do to make this work, linear layout is basically we're lining things up either horizontally or vertically, meaning things will stack vertically. If I add multiple uh, uh, text views, they would be one on top of the other. If I have, uh, if I do horizontal linear layout, then I would have objects showing up left to right. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and change, it's called orientation, and we want this to be vertical. Now things show up properly. Check this out. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, now we have multiple views because now I have the article subtitle and the article with here. So these are two separate text views and they're scrolling. Awesome. All right, let's go back and let's just review what we've done so that hopefully it makes sense. So first we created text views. We gave them some properties so that they would fit a uh, larger size. We initially changed the layout to relative layout, which allows us to indicate where objects sit in relation to other objects. And from here, we had text views and we used a text string resource to show lots of content. If we go back to our strings XML file, you notice that we we were able to input a lot of static text. We had we have the ability to add a few HTML formatting, so bold, italics, underline, and we had to escape the characters for the apostrophes, so this would work for proper XML. We also used the new line, so backslash n to create a new line and to create paragraphs. Then within the scroll view, we can only have one child object. That child object, though, can have multiple children. So in order to support two text views, we have to use this linear layout. The reason this is linear layout compat, which refers to a compatibility library, is that we are targeting uh, API 15, which is uh, what, ice cream sandwich, which is 4.0, which has been out for a long time. Well. All of those operating systems from four all the way up to, where are we, nine? This, in order for the behavior to work on older operating systems, we are using the compatibility library. And this linear layout, Compat, is a library that now works so that if you run this on a device running API 15, 
it will behave the same as if you're running on the latest Android P. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the next videos, and I'll see you soon.